OpenSSL is a toolkit used in TLS and the older SSL. What this means is when you see a, a padlock in your address bar in a browser, it means it uses one of these protocols. What it does is it encrypts content to and from the server to the browser. Because it's a lot like digital signatures, we can actually use some of the functions because OpenSSL is also a general purpose cryptography library. So in the documentation and the manual pages, we can see a list of commands. So we'll be using some of these commands to generate a private key, from that generate a public key, get a message, encrypt it. You can download it. It should be installed on a Mac, but you can download it from here if you have Windows or some other operating system that doesn't have it installed. So using the OpenSSL toolkit, we can run through generating a digital signature. So first let's start off with a private key. So using the OpenSSL command, generate a private key and specifying an algorithm of RSA. And we need to specify the output file. We'll just call it privatekey.pem. And if we list, there's our private key. To generate a public key, we need to use the private key. So we use open SSL again. We do a public key and we need to specify the private key, which is the input for the public key. And then we need to specify the public key output, which would be, let's just call it public key dot pen. That's our private key. And that's our public key. Now, in order to generate a signature, we need a document. So let's just create something simple. Let's just say 1,000 Satoshis. Let's call it a contract. Text file. So now, using our private key, we can create a digital signature of the contract we use open SSL and we want to create a digest using SHA-256. Sign using our private key and we want our output. So this will be the actual digital signature. We'll just call it signature. This could be anything you want to call it. And the file that we're using to sign is contract. So now if we check out signature, you see it's a binary file. So a signature is binary. There is a way to output it as a hexadecimal file. But for this example, we'll just keep it as binary. So now to verify the signature, we will still use digest and SHA-256, but now we will verify using the public key and we specify the signature that we're using to verify and then the original contract. If we modify the contract in any way, let's say I want to not pay, or Bob wants to not pay me as much as a thousand. So he's going to modify the original file. So now when I come to verify the signature, the verification has changed because the digest is a hash of the document. So if that document even changes one bit, the entire digest will be completely different. The hash will be completely different. So we can verify that 
the person with the private key actually signed that document because we can decrypt it or we can verify it using their public key.